What's going on? What it do? What it do? What it do? My peeps, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again to let you know what is going on for my divine ma child. How am I do? How am I do my video and I ain't got my glasses? Hold on, y'all. Lord help me. I'm about blind as a bat. Hold on, y'all. Look, I said I spy. <laughs> I said, hold on. How am I going to do anything and I don't got my glasses and I can't see a damn thing? Okay, see, that wasn't about to work. That was not about to work. Let's start this over. Hi, y'all. This is Scorpion Reds Tarot. <laughs> We're here to find out what the Divine Masculine Daily Bread is for this weekend. Today, Friday the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. So, through Friday through Sunday, all right? This week, the 22nd through the 24th of March, all right? We are here to find out what the Divine Masculine Daily Bread is, all right? If anyone would like to book a personal or private reading, you can do so by clicking that About tab. There's a hyperlink down there at the bottom that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me, okay? Listen, if um, this video resonates and you want to give a love donation, the link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for all the love donations. Y'all have been showing y'all ass out. I have made an additional purchase of seven more freaking decks. Yes, I just put... Why well, I can't talk today? Why I can't do it? Why well, I can't do it? I thought I knew it, but I don't know it. I don't know it. Anyway, I purchased seven new decks. So, yeah. We're doing big things. So, y'all look forward to that. Let's get into the reading for today. Let's get into the reading for today. So, Father God, please give us guidance for the divine masculine. Please give us guidance. Please keep them uplifted in the highest of all high. Please keep them in high spirits this weekend. Please help them feel rejoiced and blessed and remove any type of just stress because we are not living in that place father god thank you for just anointing us with the day to just have daily bread and, and, and nourishment thank you so much for all the wisdom and the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please give the divine masculine guidance for this weekend march the 22nd through the 24th thank you again for all of your messages in the past present and future all right, so for the Divine Feminine, I gave them three spirits, so I shall do the same for you. That is, if these cards would like to connect today. All right. These cards are not connecting. Why? All right, please give me guidance for the Divine Masculine. Twenty second through the twenty fourth. Eight of Earth. The Hierophant. Messenger of Water. Okay, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. You working on yourself. You getting guidance. You getting spiritual guidance. All right. And that might. Open up the door to some messages of new love. Mm-hmm. Mm, the seahorse. Divine masculine, you hung like a seahorse nigga. Ooh. Mm-mm. Call you sea biscuit. Ooh. Lord. <laughs> Y'all out here hung like sea biscuit. Lord. Mm-mm. Oh shit. Here go that goddamn comic partner. Y'all about to marry that comic partner, Lord. Mm-mm. Are y'all about to go into marriage? What is that? Nope, 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 nope. I'm not even, I'm going to rebuke that. Let me just see. Let me just see. I see that Hierophant card next to that comp, to that cover, to that karmic partner on Saturday. What is that about, you guys? Mm -mm. I, oh, I'm feeling sick to my stomach, y'all. What is going on? A moment of regret. Ooh! Honey! Chocolate! Ooh! Bitch! 
It says, forget who you are, a moment of regret, and time clock, bitch. Y'all being a shady little baby, ain't you? You was a shady baby today. Ooh, y'all some shady motherfuckers. Ooh, y'all some shady motherfuckers. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I'm honestly feeling like I feel like all of this has to do with whoever the divine masculine is with right now. Like y'all are the four of pentacles. <sighs> ooh, ooh, Lord. Oh boy, the page of cups again. So for y'all, y'all don't y'all refusing the cup. Lord Jesus, Divine Masculine, y'all going hard in the paint. Y'all are going hard in the paint on this karmic partner, yeah. Because all of this has to do with this karmic partner. Whoever the hell Divine Masculine is it with right now, they is like, <sighs> somebody about to get the short end of the stick. Let go of your past. Ooh. You don't even know what you deserve. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you deserve. That ain't surprising. Y'all trying to end this creative project with this person that y'all with. Y'all holding on to. I feel like y'all holding on to y'all money. Y'all holding yourself back. You don't trust this person. Oh, Lord. What the fuck? What type of what who in the hell is you dealing with, divine masculine? What in the fuck? Like y'all don't went from y'all divine feminine from her over to this comment partner and y'all just went into y'all jumped out of the, the the frying pan into the fire. Father God, please get this divine masculine some harsh troops. Put the fucking phone down. <laughs> what is this? It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. And then winning. Winning. You keep getting that winning card. You gonna end off the end of the uh, weekend winning. So I like that. You about to tell somebody the time is up. And I definitely see that y'all are no longer communicating any um, emotional love with this person. Like that. That that shit is old to the fucking burr. Over. Oh, wow. All right, so let's get into today, the 22nd, Friday of March 2019. Listen, I feel like you guys just want to get away and just want to work on yourself and your foundation. You guys do not. I, there's no more nostalgia. I feel like to where as though there was a lot of like intense love. You know, like maybe certain things like when you would go to work, you would see certain things or smell of a certain perfume or something and it would make you think of your partner. And, you know, you just couldn't wait to go home to see him and things like that. I do feel like the Divine Masculine fell quickly in love and fell quickly out of love with this person because once the Divine Masculine truly started working on their self they realized that this isn't love at all like this doesn't remind me of love and that's basically what i'm getting is that the divine masculine is truly working on itself now and just knows that this situation that i'm currently in right now does not remind me of love at all and it says forget who you are conditioning falling away memory no longer defines you so basically what this is saying is you guys are working on yourself. This person that you've been for this long, long, long time, Divine Masculine, you guys are trying to sort out why you've been that way, why you've always thought that way, what got you in this place of conditioning where this is the way you operate. I feel like you guys are working on yourself. You realize you have not been attracting true love into your life and the true love that you have been attracting to your life you don't know how to treat it okay and you want to work on yourself and you want to change that you are trying to change the conditioning to the way that you have been you want to forget 
everything that you thought that you were, everything that you thought that you knew, and you just want to like attract something different to your life, you're really trying to change. You're trying to change. You are forgetting who you are. You are moving and you are changing who you are on the inside so that it reflects on the outside. And I feel like you see how she's holding on to that fawn. I feel like the divine masculine is starting to appreciate things that are different. And that might be more beneficial. To, because I feel like whatever the divine masculine has been attracted to. Whatever the divine masculine is really, 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 really attracted to is very toxic. And it's not. It is not to their betterment. And they have to change this way of being. I feel like they're attracted to like real low great women like just they attracted they attract trash and when they find someone of true quality they don't know how to treat it because they like to, they've been playing in trash so long only thing they know how to do is get dirty you know this is the four pentacles divine masculine is focusing on what is really of value and I feel like they have been holding themselves back from whoever this person that they've been dealing with. Like they've been holding themselves back. And probably holding on to some secrets. And probably the secret is. Is that I want to work on myself. I don't. I realize that this ain't love. Like this thing that I'm holding on. This ain't love. Like why am I even holding on to this. I don't I don't want to be. I don't want to be this person no more. And I feel like the divine masculine has been holding itself back and keeping itself reserved and not really been talking and letting on to the fact that they want change to whoever they've been dealing with. They've been holding back and they've been keeping it a secret. I don't want to work on this project with you. Like this is this started when it started out. It was fun. It was. It ain't fun no more. Like I said. This ain't, this thing I'm holding on, this ain't true love. Like, this is not, this, this does not remind me of what love should be. I felt it before. I know what true love is. This ain't it. It was fun at first. But now, they are holding their self back. Because they don't want to continue to invest their time in this anymore. They don't want to do it. They focus on their environment Divine Masculine is cleaning up their environment. It's a toxic environment. This does not remind them of love. Your life purpose right now is to clean up your environment. And Spirit wants you to know to put your fucking phone down. Put your phone down. I feel like your phone has got you into a lot of trouble, Divine Masculine. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go and talk to a live person. I feel like the Divine Masculine, they got themselves into this situation with this person on the phone. I feel like the Divine Masculine, they're like, a, 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 I call them a messenger thought, a Facebook thought. An Instagram thought, a Snapchat thought, an inbox thought. Like, that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? You scour through the internet and you be up on people's inboxes. And I believe that that is what got you in a lot of trouble. You need to put your phone down. And I feel like the reason why you keep getting in these situations with people realizing it ain't true love because you met these motherfuckers online. Like, these are not real. They're not showing you who the fuck they really are. They're not showing you who the fuck they really are. And you need to stop. Like, you have conditioned yourself now that that's, this is what you do. You need to stop doing it. And, and, like, if you want to meet quality, true quality people, and if you really focus on working on yourself, put the fucking phone down and stop trying to be an internet phone boner. Cut it out. That is so low, low vibrational. Meet people in person. Meet their personality first. Then decide if you want to give them your number and all of that stuff like that. You keep mixing yourself up with these fucking idiots. Alright. Y'all might be dealing with a Taurus. Karmic partner. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Lord, Saturday. 
So, I, I definitely do not feel like you're getting married to your karma partner. <laughs> and X date on the open stay on that. That's definitely not happening. What is happening is, I feel like the divine masculine is realizing like, look. I need some type of spiritual grounding and foundation. And like I said, they are trying to undo the conditioning. So I feel like the divine masculine was not ever operating off a place of like faith. They didn't have any spiritual grounding. And they were just out there doing any fucking thing. And it's been an ongoing, 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 ongoing cycle of toxic karmic partners. And I feel like the divine masculine is at the point now where they really do want to settle down and find true love and, and, and marriage. I, they're tired. They're tired of this shit. They're having a fucking moment of regret about every meeting this fucking karmic partner do you understand what i'm saying they regret meeting this person that they're with right now and they are literally coming to god like seeking counsel like how do i change because i don't want to live this way no more i regret doing all of this shit and i honestly do feel like that the divine masculine they truly lost their they've been going through nothing but challenges in Number five represents change and challenges. They've been going through nothing but challenges since they got into this union with this karmic partner. This does not represent marriage. This does not. It's saying they regret the moment that they met this one. Vi masculine has been up all night I mean even in their sleep is nightmares they've been trying to figure out how the fuck did I get in this situation how in the fuck do I get out like it is it trauma is traumatizing them in their sleep like they can't escape this shit even in their dreams they're just like I, I picture them in their dreams they're like running away and then they wake up and they thought that they were away and they wake up and they sit next to the big wildebeest back looking bitch they're like what the fuck what how, what what? What? Do you see him? What? Why? How? Why am I? Listen. Divine masculine cannot let go of their past. It is literally tormenting them at night. They are regretting the moment that they left their divine feminine for this karmic partner. It is driving them fucking crazy. They realize that this does not remind me of love. I believe that in the past, whoever their um, divine feminine is, that was love. Like, they've seen love. They know what love is. And it's, uh, it's been a nightmare. This was good at first, but now the only thing that they can do is think about the regret. The regret. They are, it's like anxiety. They are anxiously sick. They're sick. The person that they're with, they don't even trust this person. I feel like the person that they are with now is a mirror of them and how they treated their divine feminine. They don't even trust this person. They're sleeping next to their nightmare. They wake up to their nightmare. They go to sleeping in their dreams. They're dreaming a nightmare. And it's their fucking karma. It says it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. Your head was in your fucking ass. You were being an asshole. To your divine feminine. And this is your karma. This is your karma. That is your karma. And I am going to read you that moment of regret card. Because my spirit is moving me to do so. It says it was such a pleasure. Wait, no, it says, it was much pleasanter at home, thought poor Alice. When one wasn't always growing larger and smaller or being ordered about by a mouse and rabbits, I almost wish I hadn't gone down that rabbit hole. And yet, and yet, it's rather curious, you know, this sort of life. Yeah, so... You wish that you would have never went down this rabbit hole, but 
like she said, and yet, and yet, it's rather curious, you know, this sort of life. So, like I said, you guys are trying your best to forget who you were, that energy that day before. You are trying to forget and trying to change being that curious person that wants to touch the fire all of the time. You, you, you like to play in fire. You like to put your hand in the fucking fire. Hmm. It says, when we make a life change and take larger steps into the unknown, it is perfectly natural to have a moment or two when we wonder whether we have made a series of mistakes. When this card comes to you, it shines a light on the doubts that you are having and asks you to accept these uncertainties as a part of the process of change. You are very, so very far away from where you once were, but you still have no clear idea of exactly where your path will take you and you are filled with uncertainty. Instead of allowing dread to fill your mind, live in the great adventure. Understand that as you change, there will be many ups and downs too. It is not in your best interest to judge yourself harshly. Instead, anchor yourself firmly in the present moment and allow any regret and nostalgia for you to feel comfortable with your past to wash over you. Let it flow on by. You are on a remarkable journey of change. It is, it is one that will lead you to wisdom, experience, and adventure. You have made a wonderful choice. So take heart in knowing that all the changes create waves and disruption. Do not make more of your misgivings than they are. They are natural consequences of bravely stepping out of your comp out of your comfort zone. Second guessing your decisions, berating yourself for the choices that you have made, feeling regret and missing which was nostalgia, living in the past. <laughs> A focus on what is going wrong or what could still go wrong. Like I said, the Divine Masculine regrets the fucking day that they got mixed up with this karmic. They realized, like I said, that nostalgia, they lost that nostalgia the day before. They realized that this is not love. This is a fucking nightmare. And they are literally going to seek counseling to help them through this situation because they want to change and they know they're going to keep attracting. Excuse me, let me plug in my charger. My, my thing is about to die. They are, um, they are like going to keep attracting this type of toxic karmic ass bullshit to them unless they do something to change and forget who they were. They have to change who the fuck they were on the inside. You see what I'm saying? They have to change that. And they have to fucking grow. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Mm, mm, mm. That's why I said they're holding themselves back. They are holding themselves back from this karmic that they're with, y'all. Listen to me when I tell you. Listen to me. This bitch is a nightmare. And they been with the person that they truly love. They know what the fuck love is. They felt it. They had it. And they fucked it up. They fucked it up in those stupid ass conditionings. And being that player. Being that greedy piece of shit that they were. Like having their head in their ass. Always being in their phone. Looking for some new adventure and shit like that. Instead of appreciating what was in front of them. And they ended up getting themselves in a goddamn nightmare. So this is Sunday you guys. The messenger of water. Healing, clock, time, time, pressure, in a rush. Y'all are in a rush. <laughs> what do you desire? You don't know. Counseling, winning. So I feel like right now the divine masculine on Sunday, and, and, and it could possibly be receiving messages of love. They could be receiving messages of love. And they realize, you know. 
And like I said, it's, it's somebody that for somebody to think that they out here like uh, hung like a fucking horse, like sea biscuit. Someone, I feel like they're getting a message from somebody that is addicted to them sexually. That's honestly what I'm getting. Because I don't know why I feel like y'all hung like a horse out here. And y'all got a bitch out here calling y'all sea biscuit and shit like that. Listen. You're getting this message of love. Or you want to send a... I feel like... Mmm, I get it. You guys want to send a message of love to a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is possibly, you know, your divine feminine. And you see the way that she looks at that horse, that seahorse or something like that. It's like, I feel like you guys are one and the same almost. You guys are one and the same. I feel like maybe you might be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and maybe your divine feminine might be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio too. Like both of you guys are water signs facing each other. And I feel like you feel so small. You feel so small. And I feel like to her... She looked at you like you were bigger than 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 anything in this world. And right now you're coming back to her feeling so small. Cause you know she don't look at you like that no more. And you want to communicate love to this person. Cause you still love this person. And you realizing that I gotta start all over. I have to start from ground zero and work my way up for her to see me in this bigger than life way that she did because I fucked that up. I want to send this message but I still have to go through my process of healing. I have to go through my process of healing and I'm not necessarily there yet. That's why the day before I feel like the Divine Masculine is either going to church or they're getting some type of counseling from someone and the the hierophant on the card is a woman. I feel like it's the it's, it's everyday mom or like they auntie. Somebody that's older that they really, really admire and that's been trying to help them navigate through this shit. Um, this is clock time. Time, pressure, in a rush. I feel like you guys are in a rush and you guys have put a time clock on your growth in this healing because you know in order for you to truly send this message to this person that you really love. Because I really do feel like the Divine Masculine wants to go back. I feel like they want to go back. Because they want to send a message to love to somebody. But they got to heal. And they only got a certain amount of time to heal. Because they don't want this person to reject their offer of love. They don't want to re They don't want too much time to go by where this offer is rejected because what the fuck does the uh yes it's a fish it's a fish in a cup and the fish has a a note in its mouth and i honestly feel like and what is this is this like a a barn in the water what the fuck This is what I'm getting. Divine Masculine is at a seashore. It's like, like looking out to sea. And as you can see, you see that barn. I feel like this, like all of the emotions for this person in the past that they put in this barn for safekeeping. And it's on wheels so it could go with them wherever. So I feel like their emotions for the Divine Feminine, they never threw it away. It's always been there. It's always been there. And now they're at this seashore. They done caught this fish. You know? And I feel like they are emotionally grounded. And they want to send this message because they want a new birth to y'all. They, they never threw their feelings. They never threw their emotions away. You know, they never threw their emotions away. They kept it in safekeeping in this barn right here. And it has wheels on it. They were carrying it with them 
wherever they went. That's why they couldn't get over the past. And I feel like in the in the past that the divine masculine didn't want children with his divine feminine, didn't want a strong foundation, didn't want commitment. And I feel like now they might be willing to have a baby now. They are really offering the cups. They want to send the message, but they know if they spend too much time healing, it will be rejected. All right. What do you desire? The divine masculine still does not know exactly what it is that they desire because I don't know if they feel like they deserve. It's like I desire it, but I don't know if I deserve it for me to get it. You see what I'm saying? I feel like the divine masculine is down on himself a lot. And he can't really focus on what it is that he desires because he don't know if he deserves it because of the things that he's done. That's why it's like I want to send this message. I want to send this message, but I don't want it to be rejected. Because I don't, I don't know... Regardless if this is what I desire, I don't know if I deserve it. That's why he's going to counseling. I told y'all he's going to counseling. He's been getting counseling from someone. Heal with, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. They've been going to counseling. And through this counseling, they definitely feel like they're winning. He says, you got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. I feel like the Divine Masculine is in a good point in their healing. They're just not all the way there yet. And they need a little bit more time. And they're going to send this message. They are going to send this message to their Divine Feminine. Whoever this person is that they're scared that they're going to reject this off of love. They, just, they, they want to make sure that they've healed. And not only that the person in the past that they hurt you, they don't want to hurt this person no more. They don't want to hurt this person ever the fuck again. Ever again. Like, I truly feel like that. I feel like the divine masculine truly fucking regrets. Read fucking regrets with the deepest, the deepest core of their heart. They regret hurting this person because they hurt their self. They hurt their self. Time clock. Let's read this. Let me see what time it says. Oop, I got to get ready. Ooh. Oh, my ears and whiskers. Oh, how it's getting late. We are a long way from seasonal time. From the ebb and the flow of the tides, the cycles of the moon, the rise and the set of the sun. Instead, we, like the white rabbit, have watches, clocks, which tick and tick and tick and tick and tick and mark every passing second. There are times when you need to move quickly, when you have appointments, deadlines, or more important responsibilities that need to be created. When you are amidst such activities, you will be consumed with them. You may become anxious, short of breath, or hurried or rushed. It may seem that you are in the need to move faster and faster than other people need to. This can lead to stress, heart racing moments, and when you are reactive like this, you are less capable than when you are focused, calm, and clear. Even though it is true that you must meet the deadline, you must take a more slow down approach so that you can attend your responsibilities. You are in the midst of a whirlwind. Be calm, the eye of the storm. Put the rest of your urge and worry to fret, to rush until your work is done. And the need to impress those to which you tend to please. What it says, put, put to rest the urge to worry, to fret, to rush until your work is done. And the need to impress those you wish to please. Work carefully, clearly. With focus and intent. See the sunrise. Bathe in the moonlight. Notice the leaves change colors. And you will work faster. If you hurry. And get 
caught in the worry. There's no need to rush. Just look at it as if you're taking your work seriously as it deserves to be taken. Pull back, stay calm, have a plan and stick to it and all will be well. A time of stress and added workload, increased responsibility, feeling it is too late to pursue your dreams, feeling pushed to complete too many tasks, and an, 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 an inability to say no, insufficient support, the urge to rest. This could be the time of dynamic opportunity, but you must take charge of your own workload and to do what needs to be done. It is time for one last push. So I feel like with that being said, yeah, the divine masculine knows that he's on a time clock. You need to take as much time as you need to take to heal so that you can heal completely and thoroughly. But I do understand that you know it's already been a long time. Like enough time has already been wasted. That's what the Divine Masculine is telling me. Like I've already wasted enough time. Like I've already been taking too long. And I know what I desire. But I just don't know if I have enough time to accomplish it because I need to finish my healing. I can't send this message until I do what I need to do. So like I said, the Divine Masculine is working on itself. They're getting counseling. They are working on their self-work, their foundation, their faith, you know, and they're doing this because they really do love somebody. They really, really, truly love somebody. Could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't matter. Okay. And this is my training deck. So that's why I have that up here. This is one of my first decks. So. And I don't use it that often. I said, I'm going to use it. So if y'all see the right and y'all just get over it. Listen, he's doing what he needs to do. He's getting that spiritual counseling, that grounding. He wants y'all to be on the same page because I feel like the divine masculine, he's getting to the point now where it's like he does want marriage and he does want a solid commitment. And he wants to be proud of himself. And he wants to honor himself and his true love in front of God. And he's working on himself and he's healing himself and he's getting himself spiritually grounded and working on his foundation before he can send this message out. All right. There is no sense of nostalgia. OK, he knows what true love is. And it's not this situation with this karmic. OK, he got into the situation cheating. OK. Okay, this was a side bitch. We all know that, right? Right? So he got into the side situation thinking that he was in love or it was going to amount to love. And it didn't amount to anything. It made him fucking miserable. It made him do nothing but think back to the person that he left and realized that was true love. This doesn't remind me anything of true love. And... It opened up the divine masculine's um, mind to realize that I need healing. There's something in the past. There's something in the past that fucked the divine masculine up. Where they could not thoroughly love. I don't know. It's something that happened. It's something that happened in the past that made them unable to love. And they need to heal from something that happened a long time time ago it don't have nothing to do with this karmic it don't have nothing to do with the divine feminine it has to do with their childhood their upbringing and i want to say that this situation it reminds them of what they seen in their childhood i it reminds them of what they seen in their childhood and it triggered them to make them realize like I walked away from true love like I really did. This is toxic. They're trying to forget who they are. They want to forget all of this shit. All of this drama that they created. They don't want to be that person anymore. They don't want those conditions. They don't because they said something happened in their past that set these conditions in their life that they felt like this player shit. This is the way to live. And they fucking regret that. They fucking regret 
They regret that. It has been nothing but pain. Nothing but pain. They regret getting in the situation that they're in now. And they're trying to get their way out of it. And they know that they have limited time. They're in a rush to get the fuck out of this situation. They do not resonate with this no more. This is not love. The nostalgia is gone. This shit is not love. They're holding themselves back. Okay, they're being stingy with their money. I, I can see that they're possibly not even, like they're truly, they're, they're, they're not even helping whoever this is with, with, with the bills and shit no more. I can see the divine masculine is being stingy and quiet as a mouse. And I feel like they hide from this person. I don't even feel like divine masculine comes home like that. I feel like divine masculine is being a complete fucking asshole. Not helping his lady with bills or nothing like that. Because she's a fucking nightmare. He hate, comes, he hate coming home to this woman. He is about to quickly let this person know. I don't want to be with you no more. The love is gone. The thrill is gone. The thrill the fuck is gone. I don't know if they have a child with, with, with this person or not. I don't even think they want the fucking child. And that's sad to say, like, that's honestly what I'm getting. They don't want no new birth. They don't want a new birth. They don't, they don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want to begin no creative project with them. Like, they do not want to do this. They don't want to do this. They do not want to do this. They want to let their past go and how they... This, this relationship represents their past to them. How they used to be, how they used to act, how they used to fuck up all of the good opportunities and fuck over everybody that they love. This relationship with this common person reminds them of their past and what they used to be. And they don't want to create in that way anymore. They want to let go of this past. They need to do that in order to focus on what it is that they truly want and what they truly desire. And they don't want what they don't want and what they don't desire what they they don't want to be in this past way anymore. This way that they operated in the past, it's not it's not beneficial to them anymore. They're trying to heal their environment, okay? They don't trust their self, they don't trust the person that they're with, and they want counsel. They need help. The divine masculine realize I've been doing this shit for so long, I need to change my environment. They want a more healthier, stable environment. They are with someone that they don't even trust right now. I feel like the person that they're with mirrors them. And they had to date a mirror of their self to realize how the fuck they were treating other people. And if they need counseling. Spirit says to put the fucking phone down. Put the phone down. You are in a dark place. You can't even see a fucking thing. And once you realize that you will be winning. Okay? Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Stop meeting people online. You don't know these people. You're lying to them. They're lying to you. And then you fuck up good situations thinking that you're going into this, this mystical, wonderful, magical unicorn with pixie dust and fairy dust all over the place because this bitch done got your dick hard talking shit online. Only to realize that this person, this situation ain't all cracked up to what it is. You are in a dark, you it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. You have had your head in your ass for so fucking long. Fucking narcissist. You didn't give a fuck about what you were doing and how you were hurting other people. You just had your head up in your ass smelling your own shit into you. Your own shit smells fine. You ain't find nothing wrong with it. You felt like you were winning. But you had a good thing going. And God is trying to tell you to don't ruin this shit. You thought you were winning and you had a good thing going. And God was trying to tell you to don't ruin this shit. But you did. Because you had your head in your ass. And you was too busy being a fucking messenger thought on your fucking phone. 
You thought that that was winning. That made you feel good being celebrated and being acknowledged by all of these different women. That was just as fake as you. Now you want to change. I'm proud of you. Change your environment. Get that counsel. Because let me tell you something. God give you exactly what you put out. Don't he? Alright, this has been y'all reading. If this video resonated with you, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. If you would like to book a personal or private reading, you can do so by clicking that about tab on my YouTube page. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. All right? And if this video resonated and if it gave you insight and if I told the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the goddamn truth, all right? And you want to give me a love donation, you can do so. You can give a dollar to the link is in the description. I love you guys. Cancer and Libra are going to be the most viewed. So you guys will be getting the new decks. Honestly, and like I told y'all, um, I got me some new stuff that's coming in the mall. So um, yeah, y'all look forward to that. Uh, Libra and Cancer. We'll see you guys. Love and light. Peace.